Hi, this video is about the science of happiness. So what science know about happiness, how to become more happy and how to have a life which is more fulfilling, right? And of course, we do have a UN International Day of Happiness. That is 20th March is celebrated worldwide as the Day of Happiness. So why do we need that this kind of happiness to remind ourselves to be happy, you know? And of course, there are so many courses available on the same, exact same title. The Science of Happiness is being run by UC Berkeley, that is University of California at Berkeley, very prestigious uh, institute. Also, Yale University have the same course, you know, and of course, there is an entire discipline in psychology called positive psychology. It's all about, you know, uh, how to be more, how to have a life which is more fulfilling, you know, how to become more happy, right? So... <clears throat> You know, the, the key takeaway of this field of positive psychology is that happiness is a state of mind. It's the same stoic perspective of this, the uh, happiness. Stoic means stoicism, the ancient, uh, you know, the Greek and Roman philosophy, which is uh, the cardinal principle of this particular philosophy is that, you know, what you can control and what you cannot control. There is a big difference. In. For example, your health. There is some way you can control it right you can actually exercise and you can have a adequate sleep and have a nutritious food but there are factors like cancer if you uh, unfortunately you became a cancer so something which you are beyond your control there is no point in fretting about those things that is the stoic principle of this the perspective of this uh, you know this uh, happiness or uh, dichotomy of life so that is i think that's one of the main takeaway of this positive psychology the, it is a state of mind. I have I remember having seen one, you know, the internet meme that uh, first, second, and third uh, in in the athletic meet, right? And uh, second position is very very sad, but the third position person is super happy because having achieved the third position, right? It's all about your state of mind, right? How you think. So and of course the, the happiness, the field is much abused. A lot of pseudoscience in it. One example is that in the park where I usually go. For a ride and to to enjoy myself i've seen a group of people who come and they they simply laugh out loud you know the laughing club so simply laughing out loud laughing group laughter can bring you happiness i think it is a fake mentality so the fake happiness uh, doesn't work but of course fake it till make it if it works for you then go ahead so it doesn't work for me so being just faking the happiness will not bring uh, the happiness in it right so there is a book which i can recommend on this positive psychology it's called man's search for meaning by victor frankl he was an, a survivor of the holocaust in nazi concentration camps like in auschwitz and all you know so yes yeah, so uh, the court two courts which i would like to say from that particular book is that those who have a why to live can bear with almost any how so the purpose so if you can find purpose in your life, you can live a fulfilling life, you know. So that is what his own experience in the concentration camps have been. And another quote from the same book, which is one of my favorite book. The one thing you cannot take away from me is the way I choose to respond to what you do to me. So how I'm going to respond, you know. So you will be purposefully doing something to agitate my peace of mind. But how to respond is up to me. It's the same uh, concept of stoic dichotomy of control, which I told you, or, uh, you know, the periphery of control beyond which is not under your control, the conscious control, right? And yes, so the positive psychology also tells you to face finitude to bring the meaning to your lives. So finitude means that we cannot take our life for granted, take nothing for granted, friends. You know, I maintain a calendar called Memento Mori. Each passing week, I shared it. Yes, days that left on this beautiful planet is numbered. I have to prioritize what to do to bring meaning to my life. So Memento Mori, it's on, uh, you know, on my journal, the front page as well. Memento Mori means it keeps on reminding me that don't take my life for granted. You know, death is nearing. So that finitude can bring you more happiness more meaning to your life you know and another concept from positive psychology is stop comparing with others that we all know comparing brings a lot of 
negativity to our life and we start comparing with those and also social media all these social media posts are highly filtered you know like ex, uh, the uh, your friends is going for a very beautiful uh, exotic travel destination is staying in a fancy hotel but you are looking only at some parts of their lives you know and then you start comparing and that is why social media can significantly reduce your happiness level so stop comparing with others and go for media breaks you know and there is a principle called cognitive diffusion that means separating yourself from your thoughts so don't define don't put your identity as what is in your mind so separate it out you are not your thoughts you know so that cognitive diffusion i think it's really important and we should let go of negativities from our life the feelings and anger and fear all those things you know let go you know so i think that is a very important tip which i which i learned recently and happiness is something like chinese finger toy you know the the, the toy i i'm sure you might have seen that when you were in school days the you know whatever way you want to i mean if you pull out it will not pull it will actually uh, become constricted and it will hold your finger a lot bigger <laughs> you know more stronger so if you try to forcefully to take out this finger toy it, that's not the way it is to work you know only way to remove that finger toy is to push and then take out you know so that way so the more you chase happiness the further away it goes so only option for us is to increase the chance increase the likelihood that you will be happy and feel it and experience it don't let your mind wander on autopilot mental autopilot mode feel it you know when you experience that happiness level while chasing the happiness is not the right way and it's not the optimal way you know if you chase happiness it goes away from you so happiness cannot be pursued it must ensue another quote from man search for meaning you know so there is a concept another concept in uh, uh, psychology called hedonistic treadmill so there is basically adaptation so uh, novelty there is another effect called novelty effect which is quite related novelty effect means that if you go for a travel for example go to an exotic place like uh, costa rica you know and yes so first few days will be really happy but then after few weeks and months past your happiness level will become the base level hedonistic treadmill because we we tend to adapt it you know so we revert to the base state after the novelty effect has been subsided right so that is you know understanding this hedonistic treadmill itself is a clue how to bring more happiness to your life that means exposing yourself for various experiences in your life for example learn a new musical instrument every month that itself is a very good way to increase your happiness level you know novelty effect will keep on rising you know yes and to appreciate the light you need darkness so that that concept is also profound to appreciate happiness in your life you should also have downfalls the you know the darkness that is basically the sadness right so you need sadness to experience happiness that is 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 like yin and yang you know so unless that complementary thing is there if you think that i can be happiness full time no you are wrong you know so that complementarity is essential for our understanding of what happiness is all about and stoic concept of eudaimonia is that work or effort contributes to happiness so that means that you you actively pursue something like you are working something and then you get the money for it then you will be a lot more happiness so that work is a very very important factor if someone gave you a lot of money or you inherit money from your parents you know that might not brings you a lot of happiness you know but if you do something actively pursue something your dreams or a goal and then you achieve it that brings a lot of happiness to your life and happiness and expectation are very different and of course the happy expectation will be like something like an antagonist of the happiness so there is a concept in statistics called bayesian inference or bayesian perspective so if you expect a lot then chances are high that you will not be happy you know you keep on updating your prior probabilities 
in light of new evidences that is what the bayesian perspective is right for example you know you are getting married then you start expecting so much wow i'm going to have a great life marital life then chances are high that you will be you know not that happy after that you know, or going for a movie you are reading a lot of positive reviews and you are expecting a lot and then the chances are high that movie will fail to impress you so lower your expectation or don't expect anything or much better expect the worst case scenario <laughs> you know so that you will become a lot more happy that is a bayesian philosophical perspective to bring happiness to your life and don't confuse happiness with pleasure and life satisfaction all these are entirely different pleasure is mostly about sense we have five senses of course if you think philosophy there are a lot more senses and at least through the senses if you can achieve it that is only what you call the pleasure right so smell or taste or whatever be it right so that is the sensual pleasure right that is not what the happiness is so happiness is more about the feelings and emotion right and it's tranquility of mind and peace of your mind right that is kind of inner peace that is what the the happiness is not the bodily pleasure you know so that don't confuse these two together and also the life satisfaction is you know it is like have you achieved your life's goal or the mission of your life or visions right so it is it's a long term the, the satisfaction with your life is long term while happiness is momentary and you really have to feel it you have to be mindful to feel it you know sometimes you achieve the happiness but then your mind wanders somewhere you don't really feel that happiness you know so that is what and of course there is a the, there is a happiness subtype called hedonistic or hedonic happiness so that means a freedom from pain or suffering or anger if you don't have any any pain in your life bodily pain or emotional pain or no suffering or no anger then you are happy that is one definition of happiness hedonic happiness so such happiness leisure activities can provide you you know so whatever be the leisure time or travel or pursuing your hobbies can provide you such hedonic happiness and money is of course a factor on your happiness level of course there is a limit so you know uh, one sweet spot in the united states repeated uh, you know the happiness research the positive psychological research says that sweet spot is around 70000 us dollars per year so if you can earn this much amount it's a sweet spot to to be happy so after this 70000 whatever the additional earning you get doesn't actually associate or correlate with the happiness level you know so money can bring you happiness to a certain level and in india of course that you cannot simply convert in forex value right in india uh, you know that life is really really inexpensive so you don't need that much money according to me i would say around 30000 rupees if you earn that much amount you can be happy you can have good savings so there is actually a level so if you don't really earn this much then of course you need to find a job that can pay you that at least that much now that should be your priority right and of course the money is not the only option for the happiness as i told you and also financial independence how are you managing your finances personal finances you know so yeah so if you have this financial independence then you can find more time for your creative pursuits like singing or whatever be it right so if you have a lot of money in your bank for example you don't have to much worry about it right so the financial wisdom is really important for example emergency fund do you have emergency fund right and yeah so there is planning for the future isn't it are you budgeting or do you have investment in the stock market it all depends on you you know so basically the the independence the financial independence can bring you happiness and also uh, trading many people trade time for money they prioritize money and they can simply trade their time for money like hard work you know too much in front of the computer and they do uh, office hours even at home you know no weekends i i work harder to get more money so that if you are that kind of a person then you trade time for money that's a sure way to decrease your happiness level friends never trade time for money time is precious right 
and you can trade vice versa too you can trade money for time that can brings you happiness one example is that well i work and i live alone and i cook my three times a meal but at least once in a week i don't cook at least one meal of my day i go out to eat it you know and you can i mean if if it's up to you if you it's up to your liking you can hire uh you know uh, uh someone to help you out with your house chores or you can get a secretary to do that work for you you know it all depends how you are managing your time efficiently so trading money for the time can bring you happiness you know so it's okay to work less and it's okay to get less money if i get more vacation you know so that is what so of course there is a sweet spot in the money as well right so everything matters here so trading money for the time is uh, it's a good way to get to bring more happy happiness to your life you know so prioritize on your time you can even work less for that you know so that is really really important and spending on the experiences like travel can bring a lot of happiness than possessions like a car or a furniture of course momentarily you might feel happy right getting a, a nice phone very good phone or a camera whatever the gadgets be can be happy for a while <laughs> but after some time you will reach that base level remember the concept of hedonistic treadmill so but if you actually spend it on an experience for example learning carpentry with a car carpenter you know uh, that is a very funny way to learn and it's very different kind of experience isn't it uh, for example i i had been to antarctica that experience is life changing it changes my perspective having educated abroad too i was in japan i did my phd there so entirely different culture that i can never forget it you know the kind of experience i had in japan uh, it's it it will uh, you know live with me forever so if you ever get a chance to go abroad for your studies take it up it's a different experience you know so yes yeah, so spending on the experience like travel prioritize it rather than on possessions because uh, you know you are dying without any possessions friends so come into terms with that the possessions are just you are just hiring from the fate but experiences are yourself you know and yes yeah, so there is another concept in positive psychology called experiential happiness what is that exposing to various experiences can bring you happiness so various experience means not merely positive it can be negative too you know unpleasant and painful experiences can bring you happiness can you ever imagine it yes so that is the purview of the experiential happiness and what are the other tips from the science beyond the positive psychology that can bring you happiness so there is something called name it to tame it a concept called emotional granularity so what is this emotional granularity label your emotions and feel it when you experience happiness you need to feel it right if you are on a mental autopilot you keep on you letting your mind to wander you know like worries and stresses work related stress or you know your life personal stress and even if you are happy you won't feel it so emotional granularity is really important feel the happiness and enjoy it you know so mindfulness re really helps you you know mindfulness means beware of the surrounding and live in this place and this time don't let your mind wander to other place or other time you know and of course mind influences the body that everybody knows you know so that is a old school of psychology is the mind how thinking can influence our body but the new uh, school of psychology is that the body can influence the mind that means that you know our actions can influence our thinking not many people knows about it so what is that actions can some of the actions can release these feel good hormones like endorphins or dopamine or serotonin or oxytocin all these four hormones are correlated with your happiness as well as your pleasure and emotional well being you know all these are feel good hormones right let me name again endorphin dopamine serotonin and oxytocin so any activity that can raise these 
hormones level naturally adhere it so activity like for example uh, you know a hug can increase your oxytocin level i mean of course with the right person right if you love a person a lot and you, you know romantic partner or your parents you know and you don't have to hug the person you can even think of it something called visualization visualize it that's a very good tip i, I learned uh, many years back before facing an interview or before giving a public presentation think of a 3 second hug with the person you love a lot for example i love my father i lost my father 5 uh, years back so i always think of hugging him it actually raises my oxytocin level i don't really have to physically hug it of course if you can physically hug the person you like increases your oxytocin sex can increase your uh, dopamine levels too you know so of course the actions can have an impact on the happiness level so what are the tips here be healthy friends to become happier that is what the science tells you number one tip take home message from this video is be healthy uh that includes rigorous exercise the cardiovascular exercises and of course the resistance training nutrition and sleep these three things exercise nutrition and sleep it increases the dopamine levels of our body naturally so stick to it you know and of course multiple uh, studies have shown that exposure to the outdoor outdoor exercise for example uh, yeah so sunlight exposure to sunlight and nature you know the my best option for this is cycling the biking you know so that increases the happiness level tremendously right because that increases the dopamine level and also gut microbiome uh, numerous studies have shown that gut microbiome can influence our thoughts and our happiness level the mind gut connection for the uninformed gut microbiome means bacteria living in your intestine you know so how do you actually have a normal a healthy gut microbiome eat more fibers that means fermented food and whole grain food with a lot of fibers banana for example whole grain food so that can have a good impact on your happiness level friends that is what the science says and listen to the favorite music whatever be the music especially the experiences from your childhood days what music you used to love a lot when you were in your school listen to it you know so yeah there is another theory called repeated exposure can increase your happiness and uh, increase your liking too if you listen to a music so many times you will uh, start falling in love with that music right so the music will also increase so uh, do activities that whatever be the activity that you enjoy during your childhood days so spend some time and brainstorm about your own childhood days if you ever had a diary look it up or if you have your parents living ask them what kind of activities i used to do when i was young for example in my case i used to swim a lot you know so swimming brings happiness even today that throws me back to my own childhood days and is of course scheduling this alone time is really important away from all the clutter and all the noise that is bugging your clarity of your thoughts for example the social media go for a media break so called a me time only me you know so getting bored is okay once in a while so the me time prioritize it. there is a finnish concept of sisu that is fortitude and determination right people from finland uh, yes yeah, so they also do the same work at least once in a week go for a media break complete stop from all the social media or if you can disconnect from the internet altogether and go to the wilderness or go to outdoor activities like your park or something that can brings a lot of your happiness you know and self compassion that means forgive yourself of your whatever the flaws that you have it for example body shame you know if you have some belly you know beer belly i do have i don't mind i don't care you know so self compassion friends uh, yes yeah, so accept the flaws without being judgmental never be judgmental to you or to others and start loving yourself ultimately only you have it right uh, 
throughout your life and stop living for others expectations and living for others that is number one regret that people just before death have several studies have shown that in you know the hospices just before death they interview them what is your number one you know worry what was your uh, you know you didn't something which you didn't achieve it in your life regret yes i lived for somebody else i never lived for my own life so now don't be like that live a life for yourself and stop for social validation that means how many likes you are getting in the facebook posts you know or how many twitter followers you have does that identi uh, ident identify you no it doesn't and say no often many people say yes if you say yes it becomes more happy no it, it's not like that so don't be committed to something which you cannot give you 100 percentage in you know and be proactive and avoid the regrets later for example i don't like breaking the promises and if i know that i might not be able to keep that promise i say no i cannot give you that promise instead of breaking the promise and feel regret later you know and yes you should focus on the process not on the goal you might achieve the goal or you might not achieve the goal it doesn't matter just process on focus on the process is that is what the scientific thinking is also about right learn from mistakes and improve every day just improve little by little that itself can bring you happiness and don't define the happiness just by achieving the goal you know so that is not the right way and focus on the solving the real life problems instead of fretting over the past or just doing the post-mortem thinking about the regrets no that is not the right way think about how to improve your life you know so focus on the process and focus on solving the problems rather than regretting about the past right and lead a disciplined lifestyle discipline can bring a lot of happiness to your life friends you know i started during my school days also i was part of you know parrot scouts and guides and i had a, a a brief time with indian army you know indo tibetan uh, border police and also during uh, the course of my uh, time in antarctica you know so military people highly disciplined navy or air force too right so the discipline can bring a lot of happiness organized and minimal you know uh, uh, ordnin och reda the swedish concept every single thing should have its own place proper place you know and proper time of course so discipline equals freedom you know that is what the liberty is all about right discipline right? if you can bring that self discipline to your life you will be a lot more happy and a control over your time time management and control over your money you know so all the discipline actually equals the freedom and mental declutter don't let the negativity always pester you that also include avoiding the toxic people that can create a lot of drama to your life so avoid them completely cut off from these toxic people and also cut off from the internet noise if the social media hampers your happiness level cut it off you know and embrace a silence and slow life sisu remember and also me time and media fast you know my life uh, my journey my my voyage to antarctica had been a voyage of self discovery friends because i was completely away from internet for many months yes that can let you prioritize what you really want with your life you know so there is another concept in uh, in in philosophy called paradox of choice many people think that more choice equal to more happiness like for example if you have a wardrobe full of various shirts or various blouse you know or various watch <laughs> luxury life isn't it or if you have multiple cars to drive does that bring you more happiness no it doesn't so the more choices actually have hampers your happiness level paradox of choice you know so that is really important so more choices the lesser happy you will become so you know embrace a minimalistic life don't go for complexities 
you know uh, unnecessarily uh, yes so that is the the so called occam's razor concept of philosophy right simply going for complexity is not a solution simple solutions are a lot more elegant most of the time right and another tip which i would like to share is a gratitude journaling right so that means that every day think of the people whom you are thankful of so this the science have revealed it multiple studies have revealed that gratitude can boost your happiness level you know and appreciating the others right and as i told you earlier mindfulness don't let your mind wander around your worries or fears you know but bring it back to the present moment and present place that is called mindfulness for example if i eat when i eat i usually eat rice you know like japanese i'm from south india we are also same way rice eater ah so whenever i eat rice i think of rice granules you know the grain i think of the farmers their effort their family i'm highly indebted to them i think of honey bees pollinators i think of planet earth that is called mindfulness friends if you drink a cup of you know cup of coffee think of the coffee farmers the water appreciate it whatever the effort you know so you have it on a beach for example i don't let my mind wander about my regrets broken relationships and all i bring it back and i appreciate that force of the the waves you know the surf for example and i think of like wow the wind from somewhere else in on the planet earth can have a tremendous influence on that wave you know the energy in that wave splashing on to the rocks you know that is what the mindfulness friends that can actually improve your state of mind a lot and watch out for the mental autopilot so many times we let our mind wander you go to you spend money and you go to uh, you know caribia or wherever you know andaman or uh, goa for example and you are in the beach and in the beach you think of your past and you let all the worries wander you then what is the point of spending money for that that doesn't bring you happiness mindfulness enjoy the moment you know and watch out for mental autopilot so bewaring of our own thought is something called metacognition that is important it doesn't come intuitive to us it needs some training but beware of our thought watch your thoughts and bring it back to the present moment and present uh, place you know mindfulness and yes studies have shown small victories can improve your happiness level you know so for example if you have a to do list i do have you know daily to do list so if you have some small small task that can you can easily uh, you know uh, uh, tick it off for example one of my to do list every day is take 25 uh, you know uh, uh, sit ups daily you know so how do you do that 25 sit ups so it's it's very simple right you can actually do it right in the morning itself you can do it so you can tick it off so that kind of small victories can improve your happiness level you know so and also and also your motivation levels you know the to do list if you tick it off something like for example inbox zero so just resetting all the clutter in the inbox and making it very nice i do that on every monday you know so that my entire week ahead is starting at the right point right so the small victories simple example i can tell you every time when i wake up you know my blankets and all those bed i i make it very nice i make it presentable of course i live alone but still it can brings happiness to me because it's such a small win i start my life day, uh, my mornings on a right track i brings the self discipline to my life all these things are will uh, you know increase your happiness and also have your own yardstick for the success don't let others yardstick you know uh influence you on how you define the success for example publishing papers if you don't publish the papers are you a failure or winning the uh, you know winning the award for example so those are beyond your control so anything beyond your control remember the stoic dichotomy of control you know uh yes yeah, so that beyond your limit 
don't let that influence you on your happiness level for example i'm a scientist every scientist dream of getting a nobel prize of course i also like it you know if i get a nobel it's good but because i couldn't win the nobel will i be sad no never do that because winning uh, the nobel is beyond my control i can only work towards it right i can do what what is up to me you know so that is why have your own yardstick for success you know and also forgive people friends whoever did bad to you just forgive and also yourself for your past mistake i'm sure every, every one of us did a lot of past mistake don't fret over it don't punish yourself you know self compassion i told you right that is really important you know forgive others and forgive yourself right and also invest on building healthy relationship right and sustaining uh you know good social relationship is extremely important that gives you uh, you know emotional well being friends so you should find people who can make you happy i told you to completely cut the toxic people from your life and also think who made you happy in your, in the recent past prioritize spending more time with you with those people you know so that is i think that's really really important and also resting proper rest i told you sleep is really important but it's not only physical rest no there are multiple levels of rest you know physical rest sleep can bring you of course mental rest also but there are multiple ways on the mental rest and multiple dimension and perspectives i told you that noise too much of the signal can uh, you know that that uh, your mind keep on wandering around no so limit the inputs to your system right that is mental decluttering and also paradox of choice is also related concept right too much choice will not bring you happiness you know uh, uh, one example is a facebook ceo uh, you know so he has uh, you know the of course the trivia says that he has only one t-shirt gray t-shirt does it mean that he cannot afford more cloth of course he can afford but zuckerberg has got only one gray t-shirt which he wears day and day every day he wears it's not the same thing you know he might be having more gray t-shirt in his home yes yeah, so that is a tip more choice will not bring you more happiness less is more you know so i think that's really important not many people understand that concept of paradox of choice right and yes yeah, so and also yes yeah, so that is what the mental rest is all about right and cutting off from the social media is another form of mental rest so as social and emotional rest cut off from the toxic people and also that uh, you know the filter bubbles of the media especially the social media all these are forms of various forms of rest right and of course whatever do whatever activity you like that brings happiness to your life and feel it for example i like riding bikes you know the the cycle you know so i can suggest any time to anybody please ride a cycle try out why not it brings a lot of positivity to my life you know and remember that the life is not only about happiness there's something bigger to your life it's about the meaningful existence you know your life like my life is numbered come in terms with it don't take for granted and if you can bring meaning to your existence for example in my case i think of doing something good for the others that can bring happiness to me social service charity works you know so yes or creating the videos like this i'm helping others right i'm helping a community of learners lifelong learners that brings happiness to my life so it's about meaningful existence friends making good use of your life precious life you know transient life how to bring meaning to your existence right that is i think that's more important than simply happiness alone and do whatever you can to make the life and to make the world a better place you know so contribute your little time for making the world a better place most of my videos in my channel are based on how to actually you know to bring the sustainability that is the focus of my channel 
and of course uh, i bring this one I, I actually contribute to the world by releasing this same thing this curiosity as you can see it here so it's, it's a monthly science show right where i bring in what really moved the world of sciences every month on every first of every month i release this, this program please check it out and also it, it will show you what to look forward to in the upcoming month you know uh, like what are the astronomical uh, important sky watching uh, events so what opportunities to look for you know so yes so that is what to whatever you can to make the the world a better place that's all my tips on how to be happy and i wish you all the best on your pursuit of happiness but remember actively pursuing happiness is not the right way feel it when you feel happiness feel it and beware of so many of the pseudoscience claims like laughing out loud ha 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 will bring you happiness it doesn't right and if you have more tips do comment below this video please do it right? and also what do you think of this video did it help you or do you have any criticism it's welcome please comment in the short you know in the comment section of this video and whatever be the comments and i wish you very best and thank you so much for watching this video if you find it useful click please click the thumbs up icon and also share it in your groups take care my very best wishes to you bye bye